Welcome to Not Square Construction. We're going to show you how we built a nine drawer cabinet at the rear of our trailer. The cabinet is 50 inches wide and we use this birch quarter inch sheet. You may need a couple of them and I know these prices are wrong. First you're going to cut four pieces. They will be the top and the bottom and the middle crossbars, separators for the drawers, each two inches high, 42 inches wide. These are going to hold up the drawer separators. You want two 32 inches high and four inches wide, one on each end. Now ours came out to be exactly 50 inches, so yours may vary. This is the final product that you're going to be getting. You want the two on the side, the four runners across, and drawer separators in the middle. You're going to want some extras that are two inches wide and six to ten inches long or so. They're going to support the drawer separators and allow you to fasten the cross members so that they'll stand up. Here you can see a better picture of the extra pieces. These are the pieces of wood that you should have cut by now. and they will go together like this. And now for the back. You're going to use scrap wood of some kind, whatever you have. You can use the rest of these boards if you have some left over, but you have to cover the back window because as you'll see, the rails are going to run that far back and they're going to have to have something to attach to. You can buy these rails on Amazon and you may need to get the extensions that I've used here because the rail probably won't go all the way to the back. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. And now for the drawers. The drawers for me were the most difficult part. You see, you have nine of them and they need to be identical. Each of the runners will hold a drawer our drawers ended up being eight and a half inches wide by 13 and a half inches deep. The runners are 14 inches. This is possibly a better illustration of the inside brace and how it connects to the outside frame. Remember you're just building a frame. You don't have the sides to deal with because we're using parts of the RV. So this board in the back can be anything just to hold up the rails. And you can see here the second part, the additional boards that we put on the inside. That one is two inches high, 42 inches long, and behind this right here, there's one of those extra pieces of braces to fasten those two pieces uh, together. Same thing on this side. Here's a drawer. We made a box according to the measurements that we had. I think they were 9 by 13. And on the table saw, we ran the sides through so we could slip the bottom of the drawer into it. Here's the top, probably the very last piece you'll do. I told you there was a lot of dust in New Mexico. This is after it's been wiped off. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you get some good tips out of this. Please let us know. Thank you.